to say that you've been with one organization and been the starter for uh, 10 out of 11 years, 10 and a half out of 11 years, um, that says a lot. That says a lot. I mean, no matter what people may say of, you know, never won a Super Bowl or whatever it may be, but to be the starting quarterback and to have a, a high winning percentage for one organization, it says not only a lot about, about the person, but it also says a lot about the head coach. I had a lot of fun here in Philadelphia. I met a lot of good, good people, I built a lot of friendships. Um, I've been named after kids, dogs. Or kids been named after you. Yeah, na kids been named after me, you know. Dogs been named after me. Um, and, and people have just come up to say, you know, they really truly appreciate what I've been able to do for them. When things are great, obviously, we're the first ones to receive the attention. But when things go wrong, we're the first ones to receive the, right, 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 the negativity. Right, 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 right. And that's one thing that people don't want to be a part of. You know, they may talk about, uh, you know, uh, man, if I was like Donovan or I was in his shoes, blah, 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 I would do this and do that. Yeah, but if you were in my shoes, how would you handle the boos? How would you handle the criticism? How would you handle you winning but still getting dogged and, you know, on TV or on the media?